Governments and not interest rates are being blamed for Sydney's housing affordability crisis. A new report says cheap house and land packages on the city's fringes don't exist, unlike just a few decades ago, and that's keeping prices high. Nurse Eleanor Romney works at RPA and rents nearby, but to afford to buy, she'd have to leave Sydney and add to the nurse drain. If you can't afford to live where you need to work, um, then maybe it's not such a great job. Unless you have a combined household income of close enough to $100,000 a year, you've got some real problems. A new report has rated Rockdale and Richmond on affordability. For a family earning up to $100,000, a Rockdale mortgage would chew up 47% of their income, Richmond 33, an affordable home is less than 30. A nurse or police officer's wage would lose 91% to a Rockdale home, Richmond 63. Making the choice between buying a house or having a family, you can't do both. But it's not just a Sydney problem. The report looked at 16 suburbs covering all the state capitals, plus Cairns, the Gold Coast, Canberra and Darwin, and it found that a worker earning the average wage of $55,000 a year could afford to buy a house in none of them. Sydney has led the way with uh, the, the mix of what not to do. He blames the state government for land shortages and high taxes. The main thing that's affecting housing affordability is interest rates. Affordable housing campaigners say landlords have it too easy. The tax system benefits investors so much that they're able to hype up the prices, inflate them quite significantly and price out first home buyers. Paul Caddack, 7 News.